Hey guys, my name is Justin and welcome to Hellsboro, where we care about the design behind the designer luxury. So today I have a fun treat for us, myself. If you're not familiar, Loewe actually became a sponsor of Studio Ghibli to ensure their success into the future. Loewe actually already did a collaboration with Studio Ghibli, but that one was more focused on my neighbor Totoro. And they actually came out with the Soot Sprite character featured on a lot of their accessories, on their handbags, um, and even on their clothing. So I kind of went crazy because My Neighbor Totoro was like a super important film for me when I was growing up. I feel like I watched it like a hundred times. That's why I'm such a nerd now. Oh God. Anyways, basically what it was, was a celebration of the artistry of Studio Ghibli by using craftsmanship rather than just only print or some of the quicker, more commercial ways of showing imagery on different merchandise and different products. After that collaboration came out, I was pretty sure that that was kind of it. So when they announced that the second collaboration was going to be Spirited Away, I lost my mind. Oh, possible third collaboration? Princess Mononoke? No. Nausicaa. No. Oh, it's probably going to be Kiki's Delivery Service. That'll be another video. I wasn't really sure about what merchandise would look like. What ended up coming out was very different from my expectations. But in general, for me, Spirited Away is a very, I don't know, I would almost consider it a classic. The fact that it won an Oscar the year that it came out for Best Animated Film. If you look at the artistry, it is much more dense and much more rich, and I think anchored in much more Japanese folklore. So it plays into the history of the country a bit. Even though these stories are completely made up by Hayao Miyazaki, it's almost like writing a love letter to the spirituality of Japan. And I think that's something that I find very interesting in how does something completely new, modern, and completely made up mix with something very traditional and old and maybe even like not real when people consider these like folklore traditions that are like taken away from the context and used in this way. I just think it's a beautiful use of the context of where you're from and what you learned when you grew up. When I found out that it was happening, I was instantly stressed out and I had this moment where like I was in denial and I was like, it's fine, I don't need anything. I already have something from the My Neighbor Totoro collection. And then I actually saw the things come out and I like, I actually freaked out. I do have to say the one bad thing about these collaborations is that Loewe really doesn't know how to manage this kind of a viral drop where it's just a bunch of people rushing to their website all at once when I think normally the volume on their website isn't this high. My experience of it was there was very like slow load times. I wasn't able to get my payment in correctly the first couple times. It actually took me I think an hour to go through the queue. Of course in that time I lost out on the things that I like really wanted. There was like a Chihiro blanket that was in a jacquard cotton that I really wanted. Lost opportunity there and then there was a really fun soot sprite bag using a woven black leather to create like the shape using the flamenco knots from their iconic flamenco bag. When it comes to these kinds of things I'm a little hesitant to go on the resale market because then the markups are just like insane like you see like a hundred percent markup or 150 percent 200 percent and it's a little insulting because it's people who are actually passionate about it versus people who are just trying to make a quick buck i mean of course i don't blame anyone like i've definitely bought things at a markup from resellers because i just needed to have it in my life but this time around i'm a little bit more chill about it but i did manage to get quite a few things so Let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to share is actually not something that I actually bought. So normally when these collaborations come out, there's a bunch of cute, fun little gifts that the brands will make and give to you for free. From my experience with Loewe, those are reserved for in-store purchases only, which I think for me personally is very frustrating because I don't have an actual Loewe store that carries these kinds of things nearby. But one of the great things that I had the opportunity to get is a set of stickers. With one of the things that I bought, I think they're actually sourcing these from stores, um, I actually got some free stickers. So I just want to really quickly show you. So it comes in a beautiful, like, I think it's vellum envelope. So it's like semi-transparent. And then it says, of course, Loewe spirited away. So I think these are actually like a coated paper sticker. 
So they look very high quality and they're super cute. So this first page is Bo Mouse and the Susu Watari. And here's the Susu Watari eating candy because that's their nutrition, I guess. And then here's some stickers of No Face, Chihiro, the bath tokens, and then the frog character and a little bits of gold. And then I love this one. This one has the giant baby, some lanterns, some of the delicious, delicious food, which we know that food is a huge focus when it comes to Ghibli films. And then of course the Yubaba bird. Oh, I wish there was a Yubaba sticker actually. I love that one of the stores actually gave this and I think that's so generous of them. I love free things like this. Um, the unfortunate thing is that I am never gonna use these because <laughs> I'm a hoarder. Anyways, those stickers actually came with the only thing that came with the limited edition packaging, but it is this box and I'm gonna show you guys. I love this. I fully understand that it is like printed on just like thick paper but this is also something I'm never gonna throw out. It is just a sleeve, like it is a sleeve, but still, I think it's beautiful. And this is one of my favorite scenes from the movie. It's when she's being held up by what they think is a stink monster. And then they found out he's a really powerful and wealthy river god. And she's just kind of in shock in this moment. So I've ordered, I've bought Loe Bay things before. But the nice thing is that it's like a really fancy box, but then they source their materials for these from FSC Certified Forests, which just basically means that it's one of the more sustainable options when it comes to using wood and paper products. Oops, something just dropped. Doesn't matter. So here's like a limited edition booklet. It just talks about what the collaboration's like. Um, you get a little care booklet. And then of course like the tag and then the certificate of authenticity is in there as well. And then it comes in this beautiful herringbone cotton dust bag. So that's standard, nothing super special there, but it is just high quality and I do love it. Um, <laughs> I just, I just think these characters are so cute. So Soot Sprites or Susu Watari are a character made by Hayao Miyazaki. Um, but as you can see, this character has little kompeto or a, a type of sugar candy from Japan. And the best thing is, so he has his little candy, but then on the backside, oh no, he forgot one. <laughs> Or maybe he's just like saving it for later, but I just like, I love it. And I love that it's, I love that it's metallic. The one thing for me is I think I appreciated the way they worked with the concept uh, of integrating the characters into the Loewe products a bit more when it was My Neighbor Totoro. Because right now this is just kind of like, he's a figural creature. His arms and legs are printed. I do wish they were maybe embroidered or something like that. And then on the back, it is just like a piece of candy. And then I have something from the My Neighbor Totoro collection. And you can actually see their, their designs are pretty similar. And I think they did reuse the shape of the soot sprites from My Neighbor Totoro to spirit it away. But you can see there. And so I do understand this is a figure, but then when you flip the back here, it's just, it's their eyes. I think that's so hilarious. There's a bit more humor, I think, in the first collaboration they had, but I mean, this is still so incredibly cute. So I, I love it. Here's the really unexpected thing for me. So when you open it up, there's, there's a zip on top and it goes around the corner, but opening it up and then I like took a quick peek. There's like light blue in here. I thought was like kind of crazy. I understand that like blue is a huge theme when it comes to spirited away with the sky and the water. And then you can also see influence of some of the themes in the movie as well. So spirited away is very ornate. Uh, there's a lot of design, beautifully designed background imagery, and then gold is a huge topic when it comes to the film, so then all the hardware from this collection is gold. Let's get back on track. Okay. So the next item I have is a piece of clothing. Um, again, I just wanna say how much I love Loewe packaging. It's this like thick paper, 
And then they tie it with a beautiful cotton ribbon. So this is a piece of clothing that I got. Originally, when it first dropped, I thought maybe I would want to get a piece of clothing that's a bit more on the design side. But those were way out of my price range. There was like a shirt that was like $2,000 and then another shirt that was just printed, but was beautiful. And that was like $1,400. Look at that. Do you see it? Oh my God. I'm obsessed I want to like frame this tissue paper. It's so cute. You can see the soot price chasing the candy around. And then just opening, opening it up. So I actually got a hoodie. So the Totoro collection did have some hoodies that I thought were beautiful, um, but they were a little out of my price range because I purchased so much from that one. This is honestly one of my favorite characters. It's a very minor character, but he's like a giant baby chick. And there's like tons of them. So there are scenes in the bathhouse when you'll see them just like piling into the tub. So I've always wanted one of their hoodies because they have these like long tassels. I don't know why um, I want it so bad, but I just like, it's like, this kind of like ridiculous thick and extremely long tassel for the hood, which I'm never gonna like, you know, I don't wanna look like Kenny from South Park or whatever. I love it, oh my God, oh. So the really cool things about this is, of course, there's a little bit of embroidery to show like their craftsmanship. So his eye is replacing the O of Loewe, but then, <laughs> so the funny thing for me is they call it like a, jacquard style like outerwear piece or whatever but really it's i think you could more closely define it as like um it's almost like patchwork so you can kind of see like the seams there which i love that means it's not dyed or a print so it's actual pieces different pieces of fabric that they like pieced together and then stitched and embroidered a little bit over one other really cool thing too is so if you're familiar with the movie you might be familiar with this kind of design on a shirt, but it's meant to look like Chihiro's shirt at the beginning and at the end of the movie when she's actually Chihiro, not Sen. So it has just this green stripe. And that's another reason why I really love this piece. There's multiple pieces to it. It has a really great character and I can like cosplay as Chihiro kind of. <laughs> not that I cosplay. No. I don't want to. I don't know, cosplay is so expensive. So, this last piece is actually, I mean, if I just say it, then it's gonna give it away, but it's kind of related to the second thing I unboxed. So if you're familiar with the shapes and sizes of Loewe boxes, you probably can make a pretty decent guess as to what this is, but. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's in the dust bag, oops. <laughs> One thing I haven't really been showing is like you get like the receipt folder and stuff like that, but that's just normal stuff. So I got a bag. For the longest time, I was like, oh, I definitely want to get another puzzle bag. I want to get one that's like one of the nanos or maybe like a medium or like a large one. But then I saw this one. And again, it has the same I think his name is Otori-sama, but like the baby chick character. But this time he like is wearing a robe and he came out of the bath and he has a towel on his head to keep it warm. It's a beautiful mini puzzle bag. So the best thing about this is that like the Soot Sprite card holders, this is done in a marquetry technique. I just realized I didn't say what marquetry is. So marquetry is a technique where they'll laser cut pieces of leather to perfectly fit into one another, kind of like a puzzle. So you can see here the grain of the leather doesn't meet, and that's actually because it's different pieces of leather. There is some printing because having some of the smaller designs would be, I think, impractical when you're making this kind of bag, and they probably saw that maybe they would fall out or something like that, but it does have a zip, and then it does come with a strap for crossbody or if you put it on your shoulder or whatever. God, I love their hardware. It's beautiful and it just works well. I love this piece. And the fact that it is 
even without the character, it's just a beautiful bicolor bag of this like cool creamy white and then this like chartreuse green on the bottom. And then that's actually one of the reasons why I love both of these pieces because you get that same kind of theming. You get the chartreuse green and then the white and then the same thing here. So then it really creates like, I mean, if you want to wear it all together or like maybe you can like wear one and then like a friend will wear something else or your partner would wear something else and you can be like kind of matchy matchy. So if you want a closer look at this, I'll do a bag review of the mini puzzle bag. Um, by then hopefully I'll also have a bag review of the small puzzle bag. Or maybe... Hey, uh, future Justin here. So one last thing that we were able to get was actually this blanket. The way I was able to actually get this blanket is I went back to the website to see if they had anything returned or they found extra stock of something and luckily they had a few of these blankets in there so I ended up being able to pick up one. So I really like that it features some of my favorite characters and that even though it's a fleece, it's actually individually tufted with the color. So it's not a print actually. The color of the textile goes all the way down to the base. And I just think that's so cool. It's almost like it's a rug or something. It's not super big but it is very warm and I've already used it quite a lot. Pretty much every day since we got it. All right, and that is my little haul. It's just a few items. I was supposed to get more, but then they canceled my order on some of those, so. But I'm still happy with everything I got. And I love that a couple of the pieces I got work together, so then I can either use them together or separately. So if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe. That way it lets me know that you like this kind of content and that you too care about the design behind Designer Luxury. Bye guys. Is that good?